Hey everybody, Depose Slew here. It's August 24th, 2011, and look what I have outside my window. That's corn stalks. Those corn stalks are over 10 feet tall. Uh, we've had some nice warm weather here lately. I don't think it's been under 90 uh, any day since sometime in July. We've had some hot, dry weather. But we're going to have some corn. We'll have to do another garden review, show you guys what we have this year. I don't know if you guys recall, it's been a while since I've made a video. But last year, I threatened to make a video of my semi-automatic pistols. And I'm going to do that today. I made a promise, and I'll follow through. What you're looking at are my four semi-automatic pistols. First one I want to start with is the one on top. That's a Taurus PT-92 in black. It's got the accessory rail here. If any of you know, the, uh, the Taurus PT-92 is loosely based on the original Beretta 92. Uh, Taurus is made in Brazil. I'm not going to go into history on how they got the design and the tooling to make a Beretta type pistol. But what occurs to me is these four pistols represent the three basic types of semi-automatic pistols. This being based on the Beretta 92 design is a semi-automatic pistol. It's, or, um, it's a, uh, a double action pistol. That means it's made to carry around in the chamber. There's the safety and it also has a hammer drop. Once you have the magazine and around in the chamber, you drop the hammer, that's how you carry it. The first shot is double action. And all remaining shots after that are in single action. But the initial pull is double action. As you can see right there. Next pistol we have here. It's my favorite. My little carry gun. The Springfield Armory XD40 Subcompact. You notice I have the talon grips on there. They stick really well. Now this is also known as a double action only striker fired pistol. I'm going to pull this back. We are empty. You pull the trigger. It's got the same trigger pull every time. Every time that slide cycles around, you've got the same trigger pull every single time. This is kind of a cross between the double action, single action mode and the 1911s, which are single action only. But, so this is kind of a, this is kind of uh, right in between that one and these two. Uh, kind of, it's got the, the trigger safety on it, just like the Glock. Uh, but it's got the uh, grip safety back here, like the 1911s. That's my favorite gun right there. I love that little thing. And next, you see two 1911s. This one is Auto Ordnance 1911A1. This is based on the uh, service pistol that was used in World War II. It's got the little tiny GI sights. It's got the uh, spur hammer back here. Rudimentary safety. A real small safety uh, there. Now everybody knows that the 1911 is a single action only. That means the hammer has to be back initially to fire the round. Then as the slide cycles the round into the chamber, it's still the same trigger pull every time. 
These are also made for effective carry. They are to be carried cocked with a round in the chamber and the safety on. That's how you carry a 1911. This is parkerized. It's got the short trigger, rounded mainspring housing, and uh, plastic GI grips. Uh, pretty authentic for the uh, World War II version. So, that's one of my 1911s. The other one is my para ordnance GI Expert. You've probably seen this in one of my other videos. Got a stainless steel barrel in there, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger, paracoat finish, black plastic grips, a real skinny beaver tail there. This is a really nice pistol. Also has a wider, it also has a the wider safety um, grip on it. So it's it's a lot easier to manipulate. Kind of checkered on there so you can get a grip on the top of it. Well, I threatened you guys. Video on my semi-automatic pistols. There they are. Uh, that one is kept by the bedside. Won't tell you which side of the bed it's on, but it's carried on the bedside. And it come, came with two 17-round magazines. And I have them both stuffed with Hornady Tap 124 grain self-defense ammo. The one I carry in this, this came with a 9-round uh, magazine and also a 12-round magazine with the grip extension on the bottom of it. So it comes down to about right there. What I carry in those is Hornady, Hornady Critical Defense 40 Smith & Wesson 165 grain FTX bullet. From what I understand, they're very effective as a self-defense round. And these dudes, so far haven't shot any self-defense rounds in them. I'm still kind of breaking them in. Uh, right now I'm just running Winchester 230 grain white box room. All right, guys. Good to be back. I have a few stories to tell, but I'm not prepared to get into them right now. Got to tell you what's been going on in my life. A lot of good, a lot of not so good, but you know what I always say, God has blessed me, and I pray that God blesses you. This is DePost Slew. I'm out for now.